You know what, Adam? I don't know what I could have done without you. That's a popular number straight out of the book. Come on, man. Nah. There are no copyright laws to mere expressions now, are they? Now we're talking about the governor here, who was probably spending state funds. Young lady, when Vera Daniels signifies interest, someone had better to the line. I'm so sorry. Why must she look at her like that? What's he here? Why is it that each time Eve always takes priority in all of our conversation. Because Eve is the only best friend I've ever had, and I intend to keep her away. You certainly have a way of keeping things. The only um, problem is that she didn't let me out of her office without sounding it very clear with your name. That we're going to end every dime of that money. <laughs> and Robert, trust me, looking into that woman's mean hard face. I knew that she meant every word of what she said. So, There's no problem. Don't There's no problem. You just tell her not to worry, okay? <laughs> For a 20 million naira upfront, hey baby, there are things I could do that even a pig will be ashamed of. Remember, <laughs> of course I knew. When he was in his uh, second year on campus, <laughs> he had this awful relationship with the most unsuitable girl. Happens all the time. She got pregnant. <laughs> and this pauper was trying to trap my son until I came along. What did you do? Well, there's no need going into the details. I just aborted everything, including the pregnancy. You did? No. <laughs> and I would do exactly the same thing again. If my son is going on the wrong track. I mean, look, how can a boy of 20 be getting married to a girl of 16 and a pauper for, for, for that matter from the ghetto? I mean, she would have plunged my son into slavery. Mrs. Daniel is on the cuts. For Christ's sake, is she the only one that knows how to flash her legs around? Your mother in law says we should double that number. To oh, hell with my mother in law. This is my wedding and not hers. Why should you disturb my phone? I'm really sorry, I beg your pardon. I didn't know you would react like that. And what do you want? Now let me ask you this, Mom. Do you believe that a successful marriage is when a rich man's son marries a rich man's daughter? What are you driving at? You don't believe that a rich man can fall in love with a wretched girl from a poor home and poor background, or vice versa. That is for the books and movies. In reality, birds of a feather flock together. You, you attain a certain level in life, and you, you maintain it. If you look down, you could get delayed, or, or it, it can bring you down. Mom, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Oh, what is it again? It's a way to my engagement, and my so-called wife-to-be is nowhere to be found. She's somewhere in South Africa galvanizing all by herself. That's what comes out of so-called high-class women. Oh. That's what I mean when I'm talking about rich man. Oh, shut up. This is not a matter of shutting up, Mom. This is a matter of consideration. Because no woman from any poor background would do what Anne is doing right now. Huh? Yes, with her, but she's, she's a respectable young woman. <laughs> Call her now. Take it. 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 Take it
Thereafter, God said unto man, Go ye out there and find thyself thy wife. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Quiz. <laughs> See, let me tell you the fact. If that is how you want it, then you found yourself a great wife. All you need to do is call a press conference. That's right. Now, I mean, I, I, I could buy up every newspaper in this town if someone else was telling the story. But when I'm doing the talking, then it is breaking news. Okay. That way the press will know why I am disowning you. You wouldn't do that to your only daughter, would you? Oh yeah? But my only daughter could spit on her only father's face. Right? Now what is your game? Hello boy. I beg your pardon, sir. You flaunt your mistress on the pages of the newspapers for the eight hours to your engagement day. It was just a monster. Besides, that lady is entitled to it. Indeed. If you must know, sir, this lady has been working herself out, working really hard to ensure the success of your daughter's wedding. And your daughter is somewhere in South Africa, lazy and around. That lady was paid to do her job. Find out her things. Now let me tell you, boy, if you play pranks with me, you will forever live to regret it. I sure you. And you know what, sir? Coming from a would be father in law, that's quite an encouraging news, I must say. Listen, boy. I mean it. I mean it. Hi. What are you doing here, Mr. Barry? Come on, let's go inside before another hungry press man catches us out here. No, I'm sorry, I don't think that is necessary. Sandra, don't be a fool. The game is up, okay? Let's start acting like intelligent people that I believe we both are. Please. You're gonna open my own door for me? Yes, I will. So? You know... For a moment, when I saw you that day in our house with my mother, I almost believed that I'd seen you somewhere before. How long is it going to take me to convince you that I haven't seen you before? How long? But now, I've come to realize that it's more like it's chemistry that has been playing tricks on my mind. Mr. Daniels, please tell me that you're not saying exactly what I think you're saying. Sandra, why didn't you come into my life earlier? Mr. Daniels, please! Sandra, please cut out this Mr. Daniels stuff. To you, I am Chris. Mr. Daniels, it is about 24 hours to your engagement. So, why didn't you just play the nice guy First, I have not made any vows. Second, I said to you, I am Chris. Hey, Nancy! Um, <coughs> I am. Um... Oh, that's alright. My aunt in school told me all this happened now and then. I'm so sorry for it. Pretty eyes. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I think you should leave my house. Now. Yes, um, but... Leave my house. Now.
But aunt, why? I shouldn't drive him away. He's a very handsome man, isn't he? Yes. He's very handsome. But he's getting married to me. I'm not really your auntie. You are not? No. Then, then who are you? I'm your mom. What the? That's not true. It's true. Goodies. Enough for you to nibble on when you're playing with your computer. All this for me? Everything. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're always welcome, okay? Okay. And whatever is all this for? 
Well, it's for our exploits in school. She ought to be encouraged. Shouldn't you be encouraged, my dear? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, dear. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Very brilliant girl, I tell you. I'll just um, help myself to the door. Even the Duke of Edinburgh will be like impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are truly impressed with uh, ah! Oh my god! You're not supposed to see that. Well, I, I have my eyes closed. I'm out. You know what? Let's just go in for your own, you know. Just bring her to stop. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry about that. <laughs> If you want to break up your engagement, then go out there and look for another sucker. Because Sandra, okay, I'm not in the mature look. Okay? Get that stupid grin off your face. Because if you try this again, if you as much as come this close to me, I swear, I will make you regret contracting Nightingale societal services. Mm -hmm. I think you know, they're also involved in security too. Is this okay in the waist? Not really. Maybe you should take your hands lower and find out yourself. Oh. You didn't bring the cufflinks? Mm. I'll just go get your cufflinks.
Why is it coming along? I think you should come see for yourself. <laughs> it's beautiful. What's up with you? What, what is it? What is it? Well, I'm getting out of this house. What? Why? Sandra! Sandra! Right now, my mother is in the hospital. I can't seem to find Anne anywhere. I demand an explanation, Sandra. I'm sorry, I can't. Well, then I call off the whole damn wedding. Okay, and you broke it. I didn't. Then talk. Look, Chris, I'm sorry I can't. Because if I do, then I would be truly responsible. And if you don't, I will still break it up, so? Chris, please. Please. Sandra. Don't you feel anything for me? Look, I do, but... Then please, talk to me, tell me, what happened? You wanted man to man, eh? Well, sir, you're the one that landed me with a psycho of a daughter and had her guts to threaten me. Let's keep all that now, okay? Now, I have guests out there, both in my house and at the arena. And I uh, have no intention of disappointing them. Ah, meaning? Meaning that uh, we all go out there and continue this little show as if nothing ever happened. Please. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, sir, but you must be out of your mind. Boy, Chief Richard is nothing to those habits. Okay, come on, lift up the legs, let's go. Listen, let me tell you, I'm a very desperate man, and I would not allow years of scheming to go down the drain just like that. All at my expense, right? You don't understand this game of politics. You know, everyone is watching. One step out of town, and you're nailed for good. Please, my boy, do not let my opponents get this opportunity. You know something, Chief Richards? I was in Tottenham Trent University when my mother was going on and on and on and never ending about your daughter. And when I came back home to please my mother, I decided to go on with the arrangement. What? You mean it wasn't as if... Exactly. You see, I'm not the kind of person who believes in marriage of convenience. I don't believe that um, as a rich man, I ought to marry from the rich man's stable. You see, I believe the yardstick should be love, not clout. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, my guests are out there. There are many more are on their way. You understand what I'm saying? 
Let me ask you something, Chief Richards. Yes. If you were me, would you go on with the marriage? You know something, sir? I'm willing to keep my mouth shut. Hmm? If only you keep your psycho daughter away from my tracks. Now, Chris Daniel, definitely, obviously, unequivocal without a doubt, deserves a better wife than a lesbian. Now, don't you think so? What, 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 what am I going to tell my guests? Huh? Senators! Honorable men! Just tell them the soup has just turned sour. But I should suppose you understand this thing from my point of view. Your point of view is very selfish, inconsiderate, and insensitive. Let her deal with that for now. That's the best I can do for now. The earlier you tell her the truth, the better for you. Maybe later, sometime later in life, I'll tell her the truth. Or maybe I might not even tell her at all. It depends, really. For now, I think it's just okay.
<laughs> what are you doing here? I came to apologize. You know, there's really no need for that. So you can shoo shoo and go. Chris, I want you to know that I really like you. Hello, ding dong. Sorry? I really like you. And I thought somewhere along the line, I'd loosen up and fall in love with you. But each day passed on with that hope dwindling. So why did you pick me? My father. My father is my father. Ah. Always him, right? He wanted a talk of the town wedding with state of the car at cars. To flag off his campaign. So why did your father pick me then? Is that so? Then why did you play along? He would have disowned me. And now? My father would have disowned me if he had found out about me and I. And now? Well, he had no choice when he found out it was all his fault. His fault? How? Right from birth, Chris. My father was very strict with me. He never let me be the opposite sex. He always left strict instructions with my teachers. The driver was always there to pick me up from school and drop me off at home. Then came secondary school. Of course, an all girls secondary school.
I'm sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to humiliate you. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. You won't entirely blame me. This is all so horrible. Maybe. But you don't know the kind of... You don't know the kind of pleasure we derive for just being with each other. I mean, even I. You need to see us together. I love her so much. And I know she loves me as well. We're so happy being together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really don't want to know that part of myself. You both are sick. It's a matter of opinion. Let me advise you. If you ever have a daughter, please let her meet the opposite sex. Oh, I definitely will. With all this that has happened. Yeah. I swear to God, if you come another inch closer, I will cripple you. And I'm not playing. Back off. I said... Oh, somehow. How very nice of you to drop by. Anne was just about leaving. look oh come on you know she's not the type for men she was just telling me about her escapade with you Sandra Sandra she was telling me about her escapade with Eve Sandra I know this is not your proper place to ask Okay, but it's the will that matters, not where. Ask what? Sandra? Will you marry me? Enough to wish you were my wedded wife. You don't know enough. Why don't you wait till you know enough? It's too premature. I've known you for like two months now. What's left to know? I'm very observant, you know. <laughs> You're very observant. Yet, you went out with and almost married a lesbian. For almost one year. And you're observant? Sandra, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, will you marry me? There's some things we still need to talk about. Let's go ahead, let's talk about it. 
I need to know what's present. My mother. Yes. Your mother. <laughs> yeah, onto something. Well, maybe, Mom. Me. I'm a woman. I know the signs. Who is she? Well, I believe you already know. Oh. Is she Commissioner today's daughter? What? Oh. Ah. Uh, Senator Wakwe's daughter. Well, I could still call her the daughter of the uh, Minister of Education. Oh, come on, Mom. There you go again. Just the way you shoved that right into my path. And was bad news. Never to be repeated. You know something, Mom? You had your chance and you bungled it. Why don't you just... Let me choose a wife for myself. Please, I beg of you. At least I'm the one who's going to leave with her. All right, but be quick about it. You're not getting any younger. Well, I already have. Sandra. It's not that I despise Sandra, really. It's just that I was hoping for someone from a higher social strata. Someone more important. You know, Mom, Sandra is very important. She's important enough. Besides, I really do not want your social stuff any longer. I know she will not make a bad wife. <sighs> if she's really the person you want, go ahead. She wants you to come along with me. What? I already asked her, and that's her condition. She must be out of her mind. No, she's not, Mom. She's a woman, and she's got her dignity. Well, Sandra, fate can be truly amazing. I contracted you to events manage my son's way. Now, you are to become the bride. When he told me what his intentions were, I said, why not? We do our bit and God does the rest. Thank you very much, Ma, for your confidence in me to be a good wife for your son. I equally love Chris and uh, I wholeheartedly wish he would be my husband. But there is something the both of you must know. Yeah? What's that? I am not going to marry you without my daughter. What? Yes. I have a child. Jesus Christ.
now that everything has been blown open. I guess the case is closed, right? Chris? Where is this child we're talking about? She's not so far. She wouldn't say. Then we must continue looking for Miss Wright. Mom, if she were your daughter, would you support her in aborting at the age of 16? This is a girl that kept her child at that age. When in these times in this country, every street has one abortion house or the other, that means she has the fear of God. That means there's some form or some element of respectability in her. Yes, but... Mom! What does it matter if I end up marrying this girl and a daughter and I live happily thereafter? Yeah, Daniel. With thousands of women queuing up to marry you, all you have to do is ask. Thousands of girls, Mom, like Anne. Anne was bad news and so is Sandra. Look, I will not allow you to marry two women into this house, Sandra and her daughter. The daughter we're talking about here, the girl in question, her name is Christy, and she's one in a million. Were it possible, I would have adopted her as my daughter. This girl just won a prize in computing. She's so brilliant. She stops of every subject in the class. She might have everything, but she is not your daughter. Like I said, I will greatly be honored to be her stepfather. What if the real father steps in? Let me worry about that, Mom. I am sorry. I will not allow this to happen. He still does, Freddy, he still does. Look, that's serious. Look, Chris, you don't have to carry this load if it's too heavy for you. Marriage, it's a marathon race. Look, your mother doesn't have to decide. I mean, you know me, don't you? Sure, my brother. So, is that knowledge? That runs through my mind all the time. You know very well that my parents forced me into that minister's daughter. But what happened? Eight months, just eight months after that talk of the town wedding, we break it up. Today, I am happy. Very, very happy with the, with the lady I picked from nowhere. But at least I'm happy. You know, that's the point. That's just the main point. See, I'm scared. I'm really afraid that if I follow my mother's belief, I'll be heading for disaster. Although, with due respect to her, she shouldn't make decisions for you. You're a man. Learn from my own mistakes. I'm your friend. Learn from my mistakes. Pali, you, you won't wear those shoes, oh. you won't. I mean, you don't step into those shoes. Those shoes, they carry thorns in them. You won't. Honestly, that's my, that's my friendly advice to you, guys. You really have to think about it. Enough to eat. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Charles, you mean you came here right away as soon as you got into the country? Yeah, straight away. I mean, I just came to town, so I had to come and see you. Just like that. <laughs> hey, come on. You really think I'll come into this town without having to come to see you first? Come on. Sandra, 
Um, I'm here for. Set you down, and I have this belief that I already have a ready wife. Yeah, Charles, I'm so sorry, but you're too late. Late, yeah, how Charles? Someone already proposed to me yesterday, just yesterday, and I've waited for this all my life. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to tell me that you 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 said yes? What's a girl to do? So what you're trying to say right now is that you guys are about to get married or what? Well, Charles, the only thing still holding us back right now is that he's trying to make up his mind about Christy. Who is Christy? Yes, Christy. Charles. Christy. What? is very kind and a gentleman too. A gentleman? How would you know that, Christy? Huh? My auntie in school told me that only gentlemen wear Rolex watches. <laughs> Uncle Chris wears a Rolex watch? Yes. Besides, since his name is Uncle Chris, and my name is Christy. Don't you see our names sound alike? Fire that you cannot put out. 
Richard, Inspire, I will put out. Chris, you don't understand. This thing will escalate. Chris! It's an honor to be a stepfather. She'll have no choice this time around. There's yet something else I must tell you. And this time, I think it's going to be more shocking. Sandra, you've been letting too many jacks out of the box lately. What is it this time? You're pregnant yet for another man? No. Chris, it's more like a question actually. So what is it? Having some disturbing dreams of late. Very disturbing dreams. Dreams? Yeah. Now, before you start calling me James, I know something. I know myself, you, you know? It's like, if I don't deal with this right now, it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Okay, so what is it? Okay. I've been dreaming about this particular girl. Every time I try to come close to you in my dream, she keeps dementing me. Chris, have you ever disappointed a girl before? Why should we talk about this? Huh? Because I want to know, Chris. I need to know. Look, Chris, if I'm going to be your wife, then I must be able to trust you. You should be able to tell me everything. Look, Chris, if you tell me about this girl, if there is one, I'm ready to forget about these dreams forever. Jilted a girl before. It's true, it's actually happened before. I need you to talk about it now. I never wanted to talk about this. Even now? 
Well, can't deny you the knowledge if you insist. I insist, Chris. Tell me. There is this girl. I remember her very vividly. Naive, perhaps. Very honest. I met her in my aunt's place in Enugu. We were actually living in the same neighborhood. But I actually never met her until that day. That fateful day. I think her innocence and genuine naivety attracted me. Besides that fact, she was very attractive. And she was only 16. So what happened? I don't know. It was like a magnetic pull. Like I said, she was 16 in SS3. And I was 20. Honestly, I, I do know some real angels like you existed around here, you know. Usually, white face is white guy. Mm. One tends to keep her distance. What girl? The gap between the bridge and the wall. I do be loving the past, do I? Come on. Stop that quality nonsense. You call it nonsense? Of course, it's nonsense. All right, I'll prove it to you. You don't even know who I am, do you? Are you a Christian? All uh, right, Christian who? Christianos. Okay, I give it up. I give up. But I tell you one thing: there is no gap between us, okay? Of course there is, and you know it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there is an intent to bridge it. Bridge it? Yeah, bridge it. Oh. What's your name? My name is Amaka. Amaka Utochuku. And I'm only a maid here. Oh, stop that. Stop that. Stop. Mm, you see, Love at, at first sight before. Okay, you see, uh, I'm going to wipe away your pain. 
perception about the rich, right? What are you going to do? What I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to love you and you will understand that there is no gap between us, right? Be one, okay? From my heart, I promise you that. Right? That's my goal. <laughs> now, smile. Hmm. When I said I was going to love her, I meant it. I tried to, but my mother wouldn't be of anything of sort. She said we don't belong in the same class. And my mother almost went into a fit the day Amanda came visiting in our house and asked after me. Amaka was so frightened she never came back again. But somehow, we kept on. And inevitably, it happened. What happened, Chris? I came back for the mid-semester break one day when my auntie came in with Amaka. One look at them and I knew it. I thought I told you never to step into this house. And how dare you come in here with that wretched thing? Mom. Mom, please. Sister Vera. Sister, there is a problem. Amaka is pregnant. What? Yes. Sister, I never knew her relationship with Chris went beyond the ordinary. I never knew. This girl is my maid and I trusted her. Chris saw her in my house. And I have to perform the duties of a responsible woman. What duties? Bringing this rather unfortunate development to your notice. <laughs> if you don't get out of here, you will regret ever having me as a sister. But, sister... Sister, it's not like that. Please, get out! How dare you! This thing that sleeps with drivers and gatemen and then wants to foist her irresponsible act on my son? And you call yourself my sister? Um, um, please. I'm responsible for it then. Sister, please. Oh, you are still waiting! I tried everything, but I never saw Amaka again. When I made serious moves through my auntie, I heard she died of a strange illness. Strange illness? Yes. They said she wasn't really pregnant. But she was only trying to trap me. But I know Amaka. Amaka won't descend that low. I tried to locate her parents, but my only link, Auntie Nika, died of a terrible motor accident. Isn't that strange? Quite strange. I would have still gone ahead to try and locate her parents, but I have no clue. No clue? Yeah, more like... More like I had no chance. Because almost immediately my mother sent me abroad to go continue my studies. And ever since then, Focus on about a mucker. She was always in my heart. She still is in my heart.
even in death. Now you know the story. Where's the baby? She's with the nurse. So why are you crying? Sister, what else will I do? Sister, what else can I do besides tears? It's okay. How can it be okay? I've made complete mess of my life. Sister. Sister, look at me. My future, education, all gone in smokes. My mother, no showed sign of helping me, is dead. Sister, what am I going to tell Mama? What will I tell her led me into this temptation? What? It's okay. <laughs> I've already discussed this with my husband. He said you should pack into our house. He has already agreed to take care of your education till you get to the university level. He has paid the hospital bill. What? You're my sister. He felt so bad that all this happened because you were not living with us. You're packing to live with us now. Hmm? You mean Christy is my daughter? Yeah. Daddy's in 
dead? No. I know I have lots of explanations to make. But... Yes, I am your father. And I'm sorry for all you've been through. Let's